Hey everybody, this is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and today we're gonna to build another YouTube graphic. But today, what we're gonna build is a YouTube end screen. It's a real easy thing to do, but it must be added in your video editing software. I'm not gonna cover that part, but we're gonna build a real simple end screen graphic today in Keynote, so let's go. So you'll notice here that I already have Keynote open today. And what you see listed here are the approximate sizes of all the elements you can use on your end screen. So if you like, this will be a great opportunity to pause it and do a screen capture. And then that way you have all these little sizes of everything, right? So I'm gonna leave this on the screen and build over it as we build all the pieces. All right, so let's go. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn on our rulers, which is Apple R or Command R. And we're going to drag a ruler point down to 140. And that gives us the spacing for our live space safe area, right? So we're going to make a shape and we're going to put a border on it and no color fill. And we're going to make this one the 1840 by 780. So we have format, a range, 1840. 780 all right so this is our safe space for all of our graphic elements that you have to add well all the elements that you're going to add in youtube our graphics can go anywhere but this is where those elements will fall in that spacing right so now we're going to do a video rectangle and those are going to be 615 by 354 all right, and we're gonna do a style, no fill, line border on that. And then finally, because of the design that I'm gonna do, I'm only gonna do the subscription circle. I don't need the pop out rectangle from the design that I'm thinking about. So let's go back to shape and we're gonna pick a circle this time and go to arrange. And we're gonna make that 294 by 294. All right, then go back to style, line border, no color fill, right? So now we have the elements we need for that. So now let's start kind of putting together a rough design of our in space and then add some good text to it and things like that, right? So first I'm gonna put up a full background color and I'm gonna do a color fill on this gradient fill. And I'm gonna use kind of yellows and golds on that. Kind of like my brand color type thing, right? And I'm going to drag it down, but above our copy text, right? And then I'm going to put a blue bar. Let's put a bar on the side. I'm using kind of roughly my brand colors for this. And basically, you know, you can use whatever colors you want. And let me pick my blue. and Drag it down, right? So now that's kind of a, a rough look for you know, an end cap, and I'm going to put my subscribe icon over here, right? Roughly centered on that, and then it'll pop out to the side from what I want. And my two video graphics, that's a good spot for that one. Then I'm going to go over here to my object palette, hold down option and copy that. And I'll drag the other one down. I want these both to fit pretty decent, right? So let's drag that one up some. Now, mind you, I'm not going to keep any of these uh, filler shapes when I export. This is just to kind of have, help me visualize where I want to put my text at and stuff like that, right? And you know what? I want to make that a little bit thinner. And I want to put an accent bar on it. Let's put an accent. Color fill gray and put it behind the blue. There we go, it's a little accent bar. So now let's add our text and we're gonna actually animate the text for when we export it. So let's add all our text in, let's go text. And we'll pick a good bold font for that. Oh, let's go impact. And we'll make that white. 
And I'm going to add an arrow because I want to put like a kind of an animation thing on it, right? So let's drag that over. And we can kick that up a notch. All right. Click here to subscribe. Right. And then we're going to put uh, check out these cool videos. So we go here. We're going to do an option drag again. Right. And then we'll do check out these cool videos. All right. And we'll make this text black. All right. And so now let's do two more arrows. So we'll do one arrow that points here and let's bold that one up. And you know what? Let's make this kind of curved. So I'm going to right click on it and go to make editable, right? And we'll put a curve on it. So now, see how I have that little zigzag there? I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to right click on it again. We're going to say smooth point, right? And make that a little smoother too. There we go. So we smooth out those points. Then I'm going to go over here to my object list, option, drag to copy. Then we're going to go to format, arrange, and we're going to flip it. And let's drag one down there. Put a little more tilt on it. There we go. So we'll say, check out these cool videos, right? So these are all of our pieces, kind of quick and dirty. But what we're going to do now is we're going to add animation to the parts, right? So first, we're going to say, click here to subscribe. We're going to go to animate. And we're going to make it pop in, right? And then... Let's say we're going to make the arrow animate in. So we're going to do a building on the arrow. We'll do a line draw on that. I like that. And then we'll say, check out these cool videos. We're going to pop that in too. And then let's do line draws on these arrows. Line draw. Okay. So now let's go fix the animation and make it work a little better, right? So we're going to open up our build order palette. Yeah, let's do the check. Click here to subscribe and the line. Have the line come in right after it. But we're going to have the line go faster. All right. So let's preview that line again. I like that. OK, then we're going to do check out. Right after build two and then these two lines. So that'll be after number three, but we'll do that one to go with number four. So both of these are draw at the same time. And we'll have those at point six. Okay, so now we have these. Let's watch how that goes. Right, so those are just kind of a simple kind of thing, right? But now we're actually done. So let's click on all the elements because we don't want to keep those, right? Because we don't want to necessarily have things on these that will may affect how our layout works later, right? So we definitely don't want to have those things going on like that. So now we just export this as a video. Wow, export to movie. 30 frames per second, zero, zero. Next. Okay, we call it end. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. Then at the end of this video, you will be able to see the end cap or end screen in action. So until next time, I am Bradley Benson, Alana's Pawpaw. Be blessed, be free. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.